MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon. Between the Sky Sox and the Baltimore Orioles. It's Orioles baseball, and it's coming up next. Alex Cobb is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Take a look at that ERA, and it's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do, if he can string together three or four good quality games in a row, that ERA will start creeping back down. He definitely needs to start pitching a lot better than he has up to this point, and it'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around in this one. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Fastball in there for a called strike. All one. First pitch. 405. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Quick. 1 and 1. Hit to short. Iglesias is up with it. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Mike Yastrzemski, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now the pitch. All one, no strike. Swing and there it goes. He got all of this one. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. So a solo shot here to left center field. Number 17 for him on the season. And that will break the seal early here. It's quickly one to nothing. What a way to get things started while playing on the road. Top of the first and a big fly, just like that, they take the lead. In now is Anthony Rendon. He enters this one That's second first. in the American the League in round trippers. This guy's right in the Anthony. prime of his career right now. The Thank power you. bat speaks for itself. One of the more dangerous hitters in the game of baseball. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Two balls and no strikes to Anthony Rendon. And he fouls this one off. The 2 1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Smith is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Batting four. The catcher, number 28, Yasmani Rondon. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. First pitch on its way. Nope, outside. And set up behind the plate is Joe McDonald as you see the rest of our umpiring crew in this one. 
Hey, Joe McDonald, he's a tough guy to figure out sometimes, Dero. One inning, he'll be given that inside corner. The next inning, he doesn't give much of that inside corner. His zone fluctuates a lot. You know, Dan, you can see some definite confusion on the face of some hitters today. Questioning in the strike zone. One pitch is a strike on the outer half. The next time, it's a ball. Kind of a little cat and mouse with the umpire when you should be focused on the pitcher. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Two out, nobody on. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. On to the bottom of the first. Colorado Springs is out in front here. One to nothing. Zach Wheeler, a right-handed Georgia native, gets the starting nod. What do you have for us on him, Danny? This guy's a fun guy to watch pitch. It seems like the more trouble he gets in, the better he pitches. Really tough to hit with runners in scoring position, and that's one of the reasons why his team loves when he's out on the mound. He doesn't give up very many crooked numbers. Now in the box, Andrew Velasquez. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Pitch on the way. And he takes ball one. Fellas, you take a look at these guys as they get onto the field for the bottom of the first here this afternoon. They're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team has been playing really well right now. And, and, and this is case in point. Chance to jump out again to another 1-0 lead. They've really been doing that. They've been on attack, early offensive, almost ambush-like approaches to their at-bats. And it's working for them. That's on the outside corner, one and two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually pitching is all about mixing pitches and location, but he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row, so I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Hey. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Going to be a long day if he executes like this punching tickets right out of the gate. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Got him swinging in the dirt. He makes the throw to first, two down. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the shortstop, Jose Iglesias. Wheeler into his motion, first pitch on its way. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. Got his 2-0 fastball, but he was way behind. 2-1. and one. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Bases are empty here with two men out. Iglesias in front, three and one. The three-one. 
And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. Batting four. The designated hitter. And here's Renato Nunez. His career line against Wheeler. He's hitless in three at-bats. First pitch of the at-bat. Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. 0-2, oh, here it comes. And on 0-2, oh, he misses with a fastball. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And he lays off it to even the count 2-2. Two and two. Iglesias leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Orioles leave one. They trail this one, one to nothing. Coming to the plate now, Tim Tebow. He'll start things out in the top half of the second. The left fielder, Tim Tebow. First offering on its way. Yeah. The wind up and the 0 1. The down 1 and 1. A swing and a ground ball to third. Alberto gloves it. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. The first baseman, Luke Voigt. Striding in, Luke Voigt. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here it comes. Base hit into right center. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. And here's the second generation big leaguer, Delino DeShields. 1 and 0 oh, the count. Runners on first with one down. Two and 0 oh now. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. Two well count, the pitch down the first baseline, but a foul ball, and it's two and one now. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Stepping in now, Bo Bichette. And it's grounded just foul down the line. He'll enter play here with that average down in the low 200s. Six home runs, 18 driven in. Grounded to first. Fielded cleanly by Davis. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over.
So digging in now, Dwight Smith Jr. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. First pitch on its way. The 1 0. It's laid off, but in there for strike one. 88 on a changeup? I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. One ball and two strikes to count. A swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Wow, his stuff looks electric coming out of the gates in this one, guys. That's five batters faced, four strikeouts. That's going to be a tough pace to keep up, but it looks like he has what it takes to work deep into this game. Austin Hayes the next to bat. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. and oh. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Now the 1 0 is a fastball looked at for a strike. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. Bets is right there as he takes it for the second out. Anthony Santander. Anthony Santander, the next to bat. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. One's the count. Two out, nobody on. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Wheeler gets the sign. Here's the pitch. I got the count. One and two. Lifted the other way out to left center. Tebow will wait on it. And he will put it away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Orioles. It remains one nothing. Set to get his day started, Michael Lorenzen. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Ripped down the line. But a foul ball here, 0-1. No swing on the knuckle curve, even at 1-1. One and one. And he misses two and one. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. Three and two now. And the payoff pitch. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run.
So it's a solo shot to dead center. His first home run of the season as it's now a 2-0 ball game. Well, in just a little more than two innings of work, he's given up two homers. Could be just one of those games for him. We'll see how much rope they give him. It's definitely getting shorter at the moment. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. The right fielder. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in his own he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Fouled away. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Hey, after that base knock right there, he's into double digits, Dero. That's a 10-game hitting streak. Oh, you talking about double digits, Dan? Now it's getting firm. We're seeing the batting average go up. We're seeing the homers go up. We're seeing the RBIs go up. Everything is moving north. Standing in now, Mike Yastrzemski, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. Well, I'll tell you, if he wants to turn things around, that pitch is one he's going to have to start locating a lot better. No one out with a runner at second. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Shot down the first baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Another one sent foul. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. One and two, here it comes. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That's a pretty good pitch right there. That fastball on the inner Not half bad. of the plate. You can Those see three. that he just isn't Anthony. able to get those arms extended and pretty ugly swing right there. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. Runner at second here with one man out. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear they don't want to challenge this guy right here, but working around a guy can come back to bite you at times. the 2 0 slapped hard the opposite way a leaping try but it's out of his reach and into the outfield and they won't risk it at third so they're at the corners now with only one away and now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. And here's the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. A leap, but he can't rein it in. It's off the wall. And to score is the runner from third. It's a 3 nothing game. 
Boy, you know, in today's game, Dero, pitches are being taught high velocity, go get ahead, strike one. Boy, that didn't work in that situation. Yeah, and guys have such put away pitches, Dan. You don't want to go super deep in the count. Find yourself with two strikes on you, and here comes a nasty slider or a nasty split finger. He had an approach right there. He wanted to use an ambush tactic, and it worked. To the plate now, Tim Tebow. Davis has it to Iglesias for one. On to Davis for a side retiring double play. So it's two runs on four base hits, no errors, and one man left on. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. Colorado Springs leads this one three to nothing. Stepping up now, Austin wins. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. First pitch on its way. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. And wow, a very high strike, but a strike nonetheless, and it's one and one. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. The one one home. Hey. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. The one two down the third baseline but foul seared down the first baseline a dive but it's off his glove and he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. The first Here's Chris Davis now. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. The wind up and the 0 1. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. And it's fouled away. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. The first and a good stretch over there is going to get him by a step for the second out. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Andrew Velasquez. First delivery to him on the way. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Orioles still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Called strike at the knees, evens the count at one and one. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' leadoff hitter. And they set up away with the fastball, but it misses three and one. Hanser Alberto would be next. A bouncer up the middle. And the Orioles have their first hit of the game. So he's aboard here on the two out single, but overall, this is one of the weaker offensive ball clubs around, at least in terms of team batting average. And that's a sight you don't want to see. Dead last in the AL in that category.
also striding in Hanser Alberto. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Set and the pitch. Popped him up. The Shields. He's got it, and the side is retired. One left for the Orioles. They trail it here three to nothing. Set for the start of the fourth. Digging in for his second at bat, Luke Voigt. One for one after a single this first time up. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Here comes the first pitch. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Smith is there, one away. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters and boy which of those two numbers leap out at you there. How about the 100 my goodness. So the bases are empty with one man gone and up to bat next to Lino De Shields. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope. That's inside. One out, nobody on. Now here's a bouncing ball headed for Iglesias at short. On to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. Now that flip Ready for another chance. Bo Bichette. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First offering on its way. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Ball at inside. Bases are empty here with two men out. One and two now. And the pitch. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Three and two, full count. Payoff pitch home. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And gone. An absolute bomb. A solo shot here to left. Seven home runs for him on the year now as they move on top four to nothing. Well, that was this lineup's third homer of the game. Dan, they're absolutely knocking the cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. I didn't find it to be the truth. I didn't mind hitting at night. But a lot of guys say they see the ball better during the day. You know what's funny, d Rose, is, is I preferred to pitch in night games as opposed to day games. I always thought it was advantage to the hitter. And so far, that looks like it's the case in this one right here. They must be seeing the ball really well because they're, they're just absolutely smoking the baseball right now. Sent on the ground out to second. Right to him. Throw on to Davis takes care of him and that'll end the inning. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. Bottom of the fourth coming up. Colorado Springs is on top four to nothing.
Ready to go in the bottom of the Leading fourth. Up. Standing oh, in, Jose Iglesias. Drew a base on balls his first time up. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. And wow, a very high strike, but a strike nonetheless, and it's one and one. Hit out towards second. Reined in. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Next will be the designated hitter, Renato Nunez. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. And he falls behind 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Fouled off. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for the Orioles so far. The next 0-2 pitch to him misses outside. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up. And there's out number two. Now back. The right field. One. Standing in, Dwight Smith Jr. looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Wheeler sets his sights and delivers. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. And that fastball is taken but catches the outer third. Pretty unusual that you see a 5 hole hitter take two strikes in a row. Typically, those are some of the most aggressive batters in the lineup. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Well, there's the classic 0 2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. Smoke on the ground up the middle. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. So a great job on a one and two pitch to keep the inning alive. We take a look at the numbers up to this point. You see he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward, but I'm not betting against him. In now, Austin Hayes. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. And he gets this one over at the knees for the first strike. Bounce it to the left side. Bichette's got it. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Orioles lead one. They're down 4 nothing. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up Mookie Betts. The right fielder, Mookie. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes.
the 1-0. Bounce towards the second baseman. Fielded cleanly, and the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. The batter, number nine, designated hitter, Mike Yastrzemski. Digging in, Mike Yastrzemski. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Now the pitch. Ball one. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. And he fouls this one off. One and one, here it comes. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. On to the lawn and gone. So it's a solo shot to dead center, his second home run of the game, as they extend the lead to five to nothing. So now to the plate, Anthony Rendon. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. One of the big keys to pitching well is getting ahead early on, and it's been far from that for this guy so far. Less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. In there, and it's 0-2 now. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0-2, the numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Lots of hits given up, but so far, no walks. At least he's making them work to get on base. Problem is, they haven't had to work too hard. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right, out of play. The one-two. is high and outside for a ball. Now this guy's a grinder, fouls off good pitches, and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys, because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Two out, nobody on. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. Interested to see what the pitcher goes to now. After getting that late hack on the curveball, does he speed him up with some velocity? Struck him out, so he's set down on strikes for the second time today. So one run here on one base hit the home run no errors and no one left last half of the fifth coming up Colorado Springs is on top here five to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles offense with their manager between innings and he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. He said they're searching for ways to drive the ball with some authority because it's just not happening for them today. They haven't gotten an extra base hit yet so it's been a real struggle getting guys into scoring position. But the key he said is not to panic. Sometimes you just have to fight through the downturns and keep your focus and energy high. All right, Heidi, thank you. So coming to the plate, Anthony Santander. He leads off from the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. They teach pitchers to keep the ball down, but if you can locate upstairs like that, it really gives you the ability to mess with the eye level of the batter. Behind 0-2 now. Now here's the pitch. Popped up. Rendon trying to get there. 
And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Now batting. The catcher. Austin. Wins. Now batting, Austin wins. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here's the pitch. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Fly ball right down the line and left. Tebow is over now, and he puts this one away in foul territory, and there are two men out. The first baseman, number 19. So two are gone now in the Baltimore fifth. And up next, the left-handed power bat of Chris Davis. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Wheeler into his motion. Here's the 0-1. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Need to get it going soon. It's 5 nothing. Wade LeBlanc takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 23. Hey. Set for the start of the inning. Ready once again, Tim Tebow. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And now a pitch on the way. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Ready with the 0 1. Big curveball right down the middle for strike number two. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit, but unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. Mm, tough call there, but the cutter misses one and two. Just inside, not by much. It's two and two. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and missed, strike three. Anytime you get rookies just breaking into the big leagues, you have to expect a certain amount of this. The there aren't any easy at-bats at this level, and you really have to learn how to slow the game down in your head because everything feels like it's so much faster up here. At the plate, Luke Voigt, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. One for two in the ball game thus far. Now the 0-1. One. one and one. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0-2, oh, he's almost certainly out. 1-1, one, one, he's got a chance to really do some damage. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's one and two. One and now a right-hander up and throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. 
no problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back Ks, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Into the box, Delino De Shields as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. Oh. 0 oh for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1-0. Oh. Two ball, no frame. Two and one now. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Two out, nobody on. Trying to bunt his way aboard to no avail. It's two and two. Swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Andrew Velasquez. And Dan Heen, his fellow top of the order hitters, haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. Another 0 2 home. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of this series. Standing in now, Hanser Alberto. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. No hits to this point. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold, 0 and 2. Skied down the left field line, and this will wind up a foul ball. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Yeah, that's the spot right there for an 0 2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider in the dirt, especially with the bases empty. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. The 1 2. Rounded down the third baseline. Well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. One out, nobody on. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. 
Uh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Pretty impressive back to back strikeouts to start the inning. What's even more important is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Ready for another shot now. Bo Bichette comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked and he turned that thing around and it got out of here in a hurry. 1-0 pitch. And he falls behind now, 2-0. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2-0, there's no way anyone's thinking changeup. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. The 2-1 is in there for the second strike. Grounded to third. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now batting, the center fielder, Michael Lorenzen. Digging in, Michael Lorenzen comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. First pitch of the at bat. Hey. One count. Here's the pitch. And a swing and a miss here. So it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there. The straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat. And what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Here's Mookie Betts. As he'll look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Top, it's two and zero. Oh. And now pitch on the way. Eight. Two balls and a strike. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get in a more 
favorable hitters counts and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher and this one misses inside a ball he walked him and they've got themselves a two out base runner man the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call busted him inside on a three one count and the ump thought it was just a tad off the plate tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind an account like that though Mike Yastrzemski will stand in again as he looks for home run number three in the ball game as we flash you back here to his second home run. This was back in the fifth inning as he has the long ball working in his first few at bats. As a look now the pitch and it's fouled away. Oh one here's the pitch. Strike two on the curveball. 0 oh and 2. That's a tough curveball right there to stay into as a lefty hitter. That ball looks like it's almost going to hit you, and it breaks over the inside half of the plate. Fastball, and ooh, that ran in and drilled him. Yeah, there's no question that this one got away from him. He was cruising, had him down 0 oh and 2 with two outs, and he's going to be pretty unhappy with that. You never want to give an offense new life in an inning. Stepping in, Anthony Rendon. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Love the fact that he's not scared to go right back inside with another fastball. I know he hit the last guy, but if he's going to have success, he's got to establish that pitch in. The 1 0 home. <laughs> Left side. Alberto has it, and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So here's the cleanup hitter, Renato Nunez. He'll be the man to lead things off here in the bottom of the seventh. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Owen won the count. Here's the pitch. Liner toward right center. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Well, you see that happen quite a bit at the big league level, d -Rod. Breaking ball up and away. Hit for a bullet for a base hit. Yeah, Dan, you try and look for it to pop out above the pitcher's hand. That usually signifies that it's going to be something breaking. That was actually a slider. So nice job by the offensive player. Not only recognizing it, but not trying to do too much. At the plate now, Dwight Smith Jr. He's working on a one for two game so far. Oh and one count and the pitch. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Here comes Wheeler's 0 2. Still no balls and two strikes. Here's another 0 2. Hey, have an AB right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Inside and high with that one one ball two strikes. Hey textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone. 
Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang plays at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. From the stretch, he'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. The 1-0 is looked at for ball number two. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. Up and in. Big danger now. It's 3-0. Runner at first here, one man out. And he'll just lay this one in there. Three and one. A full count now for the Orioles center fielder. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning. But that's also kind of risky at the same time. Into the corner and slicing foul. He wants that changeup back right there. Great arm action on that changeup. Hitter was just a smidge out in front. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. Well, they've struggled offensively in this one so far, but after that walk, they've got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. So stepping in, Anthony Santander. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. First pitch here is hit off to the right side and fouled at strike one. Well, the O's have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now would be a great time for that. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. The 0-2 delivery. Struck him out. And he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Didn't mess around much in that at-bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. To the plate now, Austin wins as he drives a liner to right center. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one, if not both of them, home. And the runner scores all the way from first as they try and chip away at their deficit. It's now a 5-2 game. Well, maybe the tables have turned a bit. Earlier in the game, the pitcher had his way with him, but he wins the battle this time and in a big way. Two runs on the board as a result. Chris Davis at the plate now. Uh, so wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. We're moving along into the later innings, and this guy's throwing over 60% of his first pitches for strikes. He'd like to do a little bit more, but so far, so good. 0 oh, and 1 count, and the pitch. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 oh, and 2. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Ball, 
Hit hard on the ground at third. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Sky Sox are out in front, five to two. Sean Armstrong has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Number 43, John Armstrong. Yosmani Grandal will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Grandal. Now the pitch. This is line to left. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. The throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. And he obviously didn't let last night's hitless outing get to his head too much because that's his second hit of the ball game. This one a double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. Into the box now. Tim Tebow down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today really stayed staunch on uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate and they did damage with it. Just off the outside that time laid off for a ball. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. We're in the eighth inning now of a five to two ball game. Just missed with the two two count and it runs full now. Luke Voigt waits on deck. Three two pitch he is swung on and missed he got him on strikes. Time to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two starters. It's our starter comparison, and the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. Stepping into the box, Luke Voigt. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch on its way. Hit hard on the ground to second. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. It's now six to two. Well, that makes it a four-run deficit, so you might have to start wondering if this is too much for them to come back. They've only been able to scratch across two runs the entire game so far, so coming up with four more in this one might be too tall of an order. Stepping in now, Delino DeShields. And she'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Sent on the ground out to second. And there's his first base hit in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Cutting it close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he was staring at his last at bat right there, or probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him another A-B in this one, but he's able to get it done. Hey, better late than never. And I'm sure when he walked into that batter's box right there, he's thinking, this very well could be my last A-B of this game. So if I'm going to keep this streak alive, going to have to do it right now. 
And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Fouled off. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Good waste pitch, one and two. That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the back door a little bit, he would have picked up that backwards K. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. The 2 2. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. Michael Lorenzen will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. First pitch on its way. No balls and a strike to count. Now the 0 1. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Swing and a liner. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Colorado Springs is out in front here, six to two. Tyler Duffy is on the pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Tyler Duffy. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Striding in once again, Andrew Velasquez. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Warming up now in the pen is Pat Vendetti, the man famous for his ability to work both right and left handed. And a strike to even the count. One and one. On they'll run this one in on him and he can't connect so he finds himself down one and two now. Really tied him up on that one. Yikes he kind of looked clueless on that swing right there Matt. If I'm pitching I'm going right back to that same pitch. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Andrew Velasquez now becomes the first out Alberto. in the bottom of the eighth inning. Alberto. In now, Hanser Alberto. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now the 1 0. Hard on the ground towards short. Bichette gathers it in. On to first, and a good stretch over there is going to get him by a step for the second out. Now at the plate, Jose Iglesias, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. First delivery to him on the way. 
checks his swing but this pitch is right there for strike one. Lifted in the air toward the line and right but this will wind up being a foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one and the inning is over. Three up three down for the Orioles. They still trail here at six to two. Michael Rooker enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. At the plate, Mookie Betts. It was a walk in his last trip. The right fielder, Mookie Betts. First pitch coming. Here it is. A ball and no strikes. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. The bat number nine. Designated hitter. Mike Yastrzemski. Coming to the plate now. Mike Yastrzemski. So far two for three in this one. First pitch of the at bat. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Nope. Perhaps a little low there. It's two and zero. Oh. Here it comes. Three ball, no break. Anthony Rendon will be next. Bases are empty, one man out. There's a strike with the fastball as he gets back in the count at three and one. Stealing that strike on 3 0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. Ball four. Perfect. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch like that go by, but on a 3 1 count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take and a walk is the result. Digging in now, Anthony Rendon. He's one for four for the game. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Runners on first with one down. Ball. Up top, it's 2-0. and oh. Now, this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. 2-0 count, the pitch. No, that's down. Fouls this one off. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Well, he walked them on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. It's been a two-for-four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, 1-0. One 
Ooh, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field, but that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect now it and freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get the third base. At the plate, Tim Tebow as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Swing and a miss one and one. Foul tip that's held on to with the plate, and the count moves to one and two now. Bases are loaded with only one out. Pulled toward right center field. Here comes Hayes. He makes the running play. Two down. And there will be no attempt to score here as the bases stay loaded with two gone now. The first baseman, Luke Voigt. Digging in and looking for more, Luke Voigt. He's looking to deliver here with the bases loaded and two out in the inning. First pitch of the at bat. Ball one. Count four and oh. The 1 0 is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. Nowhere to put anybody. 2 0 count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. Popped him up. Wins is there. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. A couple of walks, but no damage. More of the show, Saturday baseball, after this. Pat Vendetti is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Renato Nunez. Leading he scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. Hitter, Renato Nunez. From the stretch. Now the 1-0. Grounded up the first baseline, but this will get foul two and one. Now the pitch. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Dwight Smith Jr. is on deck.
still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Tebow is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth. This crowd was open for one away. Into the box now, Dwight Smith Jr. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First pitch on its way. And that's in there for strike one. Here's a little chopper up the middle. On to first, and the Orioles are down to their final out. Now batting, center fielder. Okay. Hey. Ready now for Baltimore. Austin Hayes. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Two out, nobody on. That evens it up one and one. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. Baltimore down to their final strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, just another day at the office for these guys. That stretches their winning streak to five, and they're playing well in all three phases of the game. Pitching, fielding, and hitting. Who knows how long this will last? Six to two, the final total today. The Sky Sox jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Zach Wheeler earned his fifth win of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line.